everyone for some more of my soccer cheese bus career mode in FIFA 22, and we are going to be wrapping up the regular season here in the Argentinian Primera División. And we only have two more games to play. We got this away game against Lanús that we're going to be simming, and we're also going to be simming the last game this season against Independiente at home with our, our strongest starting lineup. And then in the, in the following up, well, the next episode, we'll be doing the, uh, we'll be beginning the Copa Libertadores. We're going to be playing against Allianz Lima from Peru, Fortaleza from Brazil, and Colo Colo, I believe they're from Colombia, if I'm not mistaken, so. But before we get started here, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys doing well. Take a look at La News's kits here real quick. A lot of the teams just going for the plain white on the, for their away kits. Very few that don't. And we do end up... Is that our first loss this season? Or did we lose... I gotta look at the table after we're done. As a matter of fact, let's look at the table now. Was that our first loss? No, that was only our second loss this season. We only have two draws and two losses. And we got the 20 wins, so... I was gonna say, if we were going on an undefeated streak and we ended up losing, then that would have been kind of sad. And we get a youth squad report. Let's just see what we have going on here. 63 rated. I'm going to go ahead and promote you. Got a bunch of 18 year olds. I'm going to go ahead and promote you. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and promote you. Should probably just promote everybody. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and promote everybody. That way we won't keep on getting an email for it. And we did complete an objective even though our manager rating is still the same for reasons. Gera, add you to the loan list. Duarte, add you to the loan list. Vega. Chaco. Toppy has 70 rated already. I really wish somebody would get him on loan. Where was that other player I promoted? Oh, here he is, Manu Kuroni. There we go. And what objective did we get here? Oh, it doesn't look like we did anything. Okay. So that must have been an email saying that we might not reach our run objective, but oh well. Even with a loss, that's like three straight draws uh, that Boca Juniors have had, so... We do have a 10 goal cushion. Same old stuff, different day. Marchante is going on alone to Lanus. What did I tell you guys? Every time we get an offer from a team that's in the same league as us, not almost guaranteed that they're going to be going there. It's almost like our own players like to play against us. I don't know what the deal is with that, but... Anyway, we're gonna still, uh... 
sim this game against the Studiantes. Please, no injuries. We're gonna quick sim this. And we get the two new win to close out the season, so depending on what um, Boca Juniors does, we are going to be finishing the season with at least a 10 point margin. Why is our manager rating not going up considering that we just... Felix Rivero's 22 goal involvements in 15 matches. 15 goals in 15 matches. Yeah, why is our manager rating not going up EA? I'm just going to go ahead and sim ahead here. Toluca wants Manu Corona. But anyway, you can see, I'm going to show you guys the Copa Libertadores group. Which we're going to be participating in that in the next episode. You can see Colonna's in there. River Plate. Boca Juniors. A team called Always Ready. That's pretty cool. Got Velas and Estudiantes, two Argentinians in the same group. I didn't realize, and you can see Red Gold, Bragantino. Got Caracas, the team that we played in preseason. Paul Maris, Emelec is a team I recognize. But yeah, we play against each team twice. This is pretty much like the Champions League. This is more or less like the Champions League of South America. Let's take a final look at the table here. We... Boca must have lost their last game. Racing finishing second. River Plate finishing fourth. Lanús finishing in fifth. You can see the rest of the standings right here. I, it's still San Lorenzo, Rosario Central, Newell's, Godoy Cruz. It's weird seeing those teams being close to the bottom of the t uh, table. And you see Atletico Tucumán finishing dead last, Platense second last, Bonfield second, uh, third to last. What's the Recopa? That must be the winner of the um, Copa Lipidadores meeting the Copa Suda America. Teams. But you can see the Copa Suda America here. I'm, we're not participating in this, but it's nice to see what kind of teams are in here. It's the Independiente. Union. You see Defensa e Justicia. Bonfield is in there despite finishing third to last in the table. Racing Club and of course Lanus. Of course you can see we won the preseason international tournament. But we are going to go ahead and show stats here real quick. You can see Lopez finishes as top goal scorer in the league, which is one ahead of Riveros, who got 15. Hill had 12. Perez had 9. We only had 3 players in the top 25. Granero with 10 assists. Perez with 9. Riveros with 7. Caicedo, Hill, Mendez with 6. Blanco with four. 
Clean sheets, Rossi from Boca Juniors getting 11 clean sheets. Benitez with 5. Yeah, Benitez only had 5. Now take a look at the preseason. Rivers was a leading goal scorer there. Let's see, Granero. Clean sheets, Ramirez for one. I'm not sure if a former, I think his last name was Rodriguez, or a former starting goalkeeper had any clean sheets. He probably did, but whenever you transfer a player, all those stats disappear. Our manager rating continues to plummet, despite us winning the freaking league. Take a look at transfer history real, real quick. Oh, Dominguez is his last name. We end up get, getting him plus 10 million for Walter Benitez. You can see we did win the league title. Within two seasons, increased the uh, team's experience level by getting average age of the team up to 28. Average age is 23.4. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. But yeah, I'd like to know what I'm supposed to do to get my manager rating up. But anyway, I am going to go in here and show uh, stats here real quick before we get into the next episode, which will be against um, Allianz Lima. You can see Rivero's is our leading goal scorer. 15 goals, 7 assists, and 15 matches. Now, all these are just the Primera División. There are no other competition, well, other than preseason, which they don't even count that. They, only, they have friendly matches as separate. So each of these stats right here are the stats that these players got in the, the Argentinian League. Really do need to give Merkez some more games so. though. Ray has dropped down to 78. He was at an 80. You see, some, most of these are pretty much youth academy players. You can see most of the players are Argentinian. Those, and whoever is not Argentinian is from South America. So this is an all South American team that we have here. We don't have anybody from Europe or Africa or anything like that. So, and that is what I wanted to this particular crew. But I wanted to keep this, have, have as much South American flavor as possible. We're going to go ahead and look at the development plan of each of these players. Anybody in particular that you want to look at, we can just go ahead and uh, pause the video. Ramirez has dropped down. I think I think he started off at either a 76 or a 77, so I may look. Well, actually, no, I won't look because this is only going to be one season long, but... Wait a minute. Espinoza to center back. It gives him a 65 rating. Nice. There we go. I 
think that either Cornejo or Marquez is better off as a center mid. It's like most of our players are done growing this season. Which I'm not going to, this team is really good. They really should be up there competing for the Copa Libertadores title, so... As our manager rating continues to plummet, unfortunately, there's not really much I can do about it. Hopefully, we can keep our jobs long enough for us to win the Copa Libertadores, but, um... But yeah, next time I see you guys, we will be playing this game against... Allianz Lima. We're probably going to do the first round of group games in the next episode, and then the following episode we'll be doing the next two, and hopefully by then we'll reach the knockout stages of the competition, but um, hope you guys looking forward to that as much as I am, but um, thank you guys so much for watching this, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.